special guest and her name is Denise. Den Denise, the kids are here. It's, it's go time. Let's come on. <sighs> I, I can't get excited. Well, well, why not, Denise? Well, because we learned that last week if if we disobey, it puts sin in our heart. And I've disobeyed and I've messed up. And we can't get into heaven if we mess up. And oh, well, Denise, you know what? I'm so glad that you brought that up because we are going to go into Truth Mind today and we are going to talk about that and learn what Jesus did for us to help us with that. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, let's go. Hey, everybody. Are you ready to see what we're going to go in the mind today? Okay, let's see. Oh, look, here it is. Do you guys want a clue about what we're gonna learn about? Okay, wait a minute, I don't think you do. Mm. Oh, you do? Okay, okay, okay. Our, our clue is in our memory verse, and our memory verse is Acts 2.38. Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Let's say it again. Acts 2.38, then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of your sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Did you get the clue? Let's go dig it out in the mine. Hey kids, did you see how dirty our treasure is that was dug out of the mine? It's filthy. But you know, now that it's no longer buried in all that dirt and rock and gunk, let's clean it up a little bit. Oh wow, it's getting so clean. Look at all this dirt. Hmm. When Jesus forgives us when we repent, he does it instantly. All we have to do is ask him for it. Look how clean this is, but wait a minute. I'm still seeing some spots on it. Hmm, let's see. We're gonna learn how to get the rest of this residue off. And that's gonna be really important for us. Forgiveness is a treasure that we can have every time we make a mistake. But we have to ask for it. Jesus will forgive us every time so fast, just like that.
Jesus, wherever he will lead me, I'm gonna follow Jesus all the way. I'm gonna follow Jesus, wherever he will lead me, I'm gonna follow Jesus all the way. He is the light that breaks through the darkness, follow his lead and light it up. in truth mind today and are you ready for our bible story well i have this gem which is beautifully purple just like these gems that are here in the mind today but there's something different about this gem it's all dirt it's got black spots all over it can you see that yuck i wonder why this gem out of all the gems that we've dug out of truth mind why this one has black spots on it. How can that be? I wonder, I think I know what it is. If you have your Bibles, grab your Bibles. And in the New Testament, there is a book of the Bible called Romans. And if you look at chapter three and verse 23, I think that will help us find out why this gym has all of these black dirty spots on it and it says oh, this is it for all have sinned that's it these black spots on this gym it's it's like sin what else does it say and come short of the glory of God you know what that means everybody it means that just like this gym has all these black spots on it, that's exactly what happens to our heart whenever that we sin. What? What is a sin? That's a great question. I'll tell you. The Bible says in John that, hmm, he that knoweth to do good and doeth it not, to him it is sin. So that means if your mom says, don't go in the kitchen and eat the cookie, and you know you shouldn't do it, and you do, you knew that you shouldn't have done that, but you disobeyed. And disobedience is sin. And disobedience is anytime we do something we know we shouldn't. So whether that's looking at things we shouldn't look at, or maybe saying things that we shouldn't say, or going places that we shouldn't go, or maybe even listening to things we know we shouldn't listen to. Breaking a rule is disobedience. So that would put a black spot on our heart. And that must be what happened to this gym. It got all dirty. But you know, the Lord, he didn't just leave our hearts all dirty with the sin spots. He loves us so much that he said, that there was something that we could do to get rid of all those spots. And I think I'm going to dig out a gem out of truth mind today that's going to tell us. Are you ready? Here we go. Should I do this one? No. I think I'm going to do this one right here by me. Are you ready? Have you got your hard hats on today? What about your boots? Do you have your pickaxes? Okay, count three. One. This one looks like it's really in this rock very tight. We're going to have to really hit it hard. Are you ready? Two. Did you say three already? Three. Okay. It's still stuck. Oh, look at that. I think this is our truth that we are to learn about today. Can you say it with me? It's a big word. But it is so, so powerful. Say it with me. Repentance. Do you know what repentance is? Repentance is just saying, I'm sorry. When we disobey and we break those rules, we've got a truth in the word of God. And it's in Acts 2.38. 
And Peter was talking to a bunch of people who realized that they had sin and they had black spots in their heart, those sin spots. They didn't know how to get them out. And they said to Peter, what are we going to do? And he said, repent, which is saying you're sorry. And you know, it's more than just saying you're sorry so you don't get in trouble. Because I know that there are some people that when they get their hand in that cookie jar and they shouldn't have it there and they hear mom come in, they say, sorry, mom, sorry, 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 sorry. But they're really not sorry that they put their hand in the cookie jar. They're just sorry they got caught. So repentance is a word that means we turn away from sin. So if we know that over here are things we shouldn't touch, we turn away from it and we don't do that anymore. And repentance is saying you're sorry and meaning it with all your heart. What a truth today that we have learned. If you mess up, you just repent and say you're sorry. And the Bible says that if we confess or we say, I really did it, mom, and you tell the truth what happened, if you confess, the Bible says Jesus is faithful to forgive you. That is a truth you need to remember all your life. All right, what else are we going to do today? Let's go see. Wow, did you get that, Denise? We just learned that if we ask Jesus to forgive us of our sins, those, those mistakes, those, the disobedience, the black spots in our hearts, that Jesus will forgive us that fast. It's called repenting. Isn't that awesome? Yes! Yeah. That's awesome. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible says that, you know what? Everybody has messed up. We've all made some wrong choices, and we all have sin in our hearts. And so all of us need to repent and ask Jesus to forgive them. But, but how do you repent? What if we've never done it before? You know what? That's okay. It's so easy. All you have to do is talk to Jesus and tell him, you know what? I see that I've made mistake. I've made a mistake and I messed up. I've disobeyed. But Jesus, would you forgive me for that? And would you make my heart clean again? That's all that you have to do. And you know what? Let's all repent together. Do you want to? Yeah. All right. Do kids, do you want to repent with us? Wonderful. All you have to do, bow your heads like this close your eyes and you can repeat after me okay yeah will you repeat after me yeah sure all right jesus jesus thank you god thank you god that you've taught us that you've taught us that you'll forgive us that you'll forgive us of our mistakes of our mistakes jesus jesus i'm so sorry i'm so sorry for being disobedient for being disobedient and not obeying your word and not obeying your word sometimes would you forgive me? Would you forgive me? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Wow. I feel so much better now. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus, for forgiving me. Oh, look. My what? heart is all clean. <gasps> wow. Thank you, Jesus. No more spots. I feel so much better with all the sin gone. Thank you, Jesus. How can I thank him for what he's done? Jesus, oh.